hey guys welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to show you my one month grocery haul i did four stores and then i will share my total amount spent versus my um my budget so i'm gonna start with my aldi haul and right over here i got a bunch of tortilla chips and some popcorn some puffed corn because my daughter has braces and can't have popcorn and that's a usual like nightly snack for them so I got a couple bags of that um, she wanted some salt and vinegar chips and then some nacho cheese chips for taco salad but lots of tortilla chips because a family favorite is chips and salsa in the evenings um, we've got a bunch of bananas grapes lots of peppers cucumbers onions organic tomatoes the corn on the cob, I'm going to cut up and freeze. That is for a um, sheet pan shrimp boil later on in the month. We've got some cabbage, a couple things of eggs, some salsa, um, my favorite tuna ever, which is the line and pole caught skipjack, refried beans, three things of the great northern beans, a couple different types of pickles. And then these are like for my food storage. Um, my kids love condiments, so and I love ketchup, so we go through lots of it. So I got some ketchup, mustard, ranch, more soy sauce, um, Aldi version of the Olive Garden dressing, a thing of French toast sticks, some garlic bread, and then a couple different types of nuts, and then some spices. And for bread, I got hamburger buns, hot dog buns, uh, the maple french toast bagels and then a couple packs of soft tortillas we like those for tacos but also for like sandwiches i do cream cheese and lunch meat roll-ups for the kids they really like that some more napkins and then we've got some organic celery some organic spring mix and green onions then i went to walmart and i got a bunch of boxes of their brand of Nutri-Green bars. I got a couple boxes of gluten-free crackers. Those have seemed to help settle my stomach lately during this pregnancy. I got some andouille sausage. Um, I have a couple of grass-fed steaks in the freezer, but I needed one more to feed all of us, so I grabbed one of those. And then I grabbed a chuck tender roast. I cut that up and use it for stew meat because it's cheaper by the pound to do that as opposed to buying already cut stew meat. I could not find um, frozen potatoes anywhere and ended up having to get a five pound bag of tater tots. So we're just gonna have tater tots a bunch this month, I guess. I got a couple packs of gluten-free cornbread mix, some raspberries, blueberries, some rosemary for a recipe that I'm doing. Um, this is for food storage as well. A couple things of instant mashed potatoes um, because there are just some nights that I don't feel like making homemade mashed potatoes. I needed a pork roast and this was the smallest one they had in the entire store. So I'm going to cut it in half and then use it for two different meals at some point. But I only need half of that for this month. Some apple juice. And my kids really like this green goodness juice, so I got one of those. We've got some yogurt raisins. My son loves that. Some hoisin sauce. We use that a lot in our dishes. Gluten-free penne. Some natural grape jam. And then some natural raspberry jam. A couple cans of gluten-free cream of chicken. And a gluten-free cream of mushroom. And then just a couple cans of the Annie's Organic Bernie O's just for like a quick lunch one day. Another type of pickles. And then some hot dog chili sauce. I've been craving chili dogs, so I think that's what we're going to have for dinner tonight. And then um, my husband loves ramen, so I got a pack of that. Some zero sugar root beer. I got this off the clearance rack just because when I make soups, I like to cut up some bread for them to have with their soup. And then my kids were bothering me for cereal. I never buy it, but they had the 50 cent bags of multi meals, so they each chose a bag of those. They probably won't get eaten. Um, and then over here is what I got from Target. Just this alone was $41, which 
I'm still upset about. But I got a couple of the Alani New flavors that I wanted to try. Um, creamer, another thing of oat milk, a couple boxes for my food storage of gluten-free spaghetti, two packs of the um, uncured no sugar bacon. We needed some more sponges, some uncured hot dogs, and then a package of cream cheese. Target was the only store I could find cream cheese at out of four stores, so that was great. <laughs> and then finally at Costco, I got some more um, toilet paper. Another thing of this minced garlic, I got these Polish sausages, and then I'm just going to break these up into one pound packages, which I think each package should be about one pound um, because I only use that for meals. And then food storage again is the organic tomato sauce and the fruit pouches. Got some more butter, tzatziki sauce, some gluten free pita bread. Costco was the only place I could find wild caught shrimp so I ended up having to get this really big bag which was like $20 unfortunately. I got some organic coffee beans, some unreal um, their version of Almond Joys I think or Mounds even but they looked really delicious so I got those. I got some organic apples, some more syrup to put in my food storage, some cheese i cut these up and freeze them so they last a really long time i got a big box of yogurt and some dishwasher detergent pods so that is it so i will pan and show you guys everything that i got so that you can see and my food budget for the month is 500 dollars. today i spent 500 dollars and 68 cents at four different stores so this will last us for the month. Technically, I was over budget because I am going to have to go to the store at least one or two more times for some fresh produce. Um, not too much, but some. Um, so I'm definitely over budget. It'll probably end up being over budget by $100, which kind of sucks. So I will have my meal plan for the month posted below in a printable document. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.